Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, earlier today, this caught me by surprise. I, um, I didn't really know about this until, like, an hour or two ago. So, basically, um, some Ahsoka merch, I believe on Amazon, basically revealed in its description, um, favorite Ahsoka characters in Star Wars... And they named the following, being Hera, Mon Mothma, and one of them being Anakin Skywalker. So Amazon pretty much confirmed that Anakin is going to be in the show. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a small cameo of a, in, a, in a flashback or if it's going to be a, like, Force Ghost moment with Ahsoka talking to Anakin's Force Ghost, and they're both kind of, like, reconnecting a little bit who knows like i would i would i would love to see something like that i hope that is the case or maybe it's more maybe it's going to be both maybe we're going to see hayden christensen's anakin talking to ahsoka in a few flashbacks and maybe at the same time we may even get some scenes between Anna hayden christensen's anakin skywalker's force ghost talking to ahsoka and then kind of reconnecting a little bit so I'm okay if we just get one of them. If we if we just get like Anakin and Ahsoka in a flashback talking about something or fighting some battle droids or whatever, I'm gonna be okay with that. It's better than nothing. But man, I would love I would love to see a moment between Anakin and Ahsoka, like them kind of reconnecting. Dude, I would love to see that. So I hope that happens. If not, hey, it's better than nothing if we just get Anakin and Ahsoka talking in a flashback or doing something in a flashback, who knows. If that's all we get, and we don't get, like, Anakin's Force Ghost reconnecting with Ahsoka, I'm perfectly okay with that. But, uh, yeah, without wasting any more time, though, let's just get in this article already and see what exactly it says here. So, it says here on StarWarsNet.com that a description attached to multiple products tied to Star Wars Ahsoka suggests that we will be seeing the return of the Jedi, Anakin Skywalker himself. This follows... Older reports indicating that Hayden Christensen would be appearing in the in the Disney Plus series in some capacity. A multitude of products tied to the forthcoming Ahsoka series are now available to pre-order on Amazon. Beneath all the relevant products, you can find two examples here and here. The following copy lists Anakin Skywalker alongside other characters confirmed to appear in the series. Stop looking for fashion, help in Alderaan places, add a little out-of-this-world style to your wardrobe with some truly epic officially licensed Star Wars graphic t-shirts, sweatshirts, and hoodies. Transport yourself to a galaxy far, far away with cool new apparel uh, featuring Ahsoka Tano, Sabine Wren, Anakin Skywalker, Mon Mothma, and all of your favorite Star Wars Ahsoka characters. Now, you may think this is just a little, like, typical, oh, they're just uh, promoting their little, little merch or whatever, but they say right here, all your favorite Star Wars Ahsoka. Let me highlight that. Ahsoka characters so that right there confirms like amazon pretty much confirmed that yeah um anakin is going to be in the show in some way shape or form which i dig that but it's like they could have just hid that they could have just they i don't know why they they tried to just put that out there because maybe because disney really wants people to watch this because i know like disney plus when it comes to marvel has had its issues especially with a lot of the backlash that secret invasion's been getting so i, I get why all of disney is like okay we need to put something in there that's going to make people definitely want to be watching this show and be tuned in even though marvel and lucasfilm are two totally different properties and both are owned by disney disney are definitely still like yeah like yeah we need to make sure that people watch this no matter what so yeah, man. Um, yeah, this is this is this is crazy. They actually revealed that Anakin will be in the show. So I done. I was already real excited to watch the show. I'm even more excited now to watch this show. And I hope this show is fucking good, though, man. I hope it's good. If this show is mediocre, or like all the Disney Plus shows that we've been getting from Marvel, then that's gonna really be sad, man. Because I'm I'm re I'm really looking forward to this show. So, yeah, hopefully this doesn't flop, and hopefully Anakin does help 
the show in some way, shape, or form and get more eyes on this. Because if that is their intent, it better work. Because I think more people, a lot of people are excited for this show, but they really want to make sure that eyes are on this show, like really on this show. So it makes sense why they did this. Again, with especially with all the things that Marvel's been going through with all their issues with, with all their issues with Disney Plus lately. So I get why Disney's like, okay, yeah, we got to make sure that people watch this. So yeah, that's why I think they did that. A little weird that they still did though. They should have kept it a surprise, but I get why to an extent why they did it because they want to get a lot of eyes on this show. Um, with this in mind, it should be acknowledged that the possibility exists that a third party wrote the copy for the product description, and it did not necessarily have Disney's direct approval. Real? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was led to the understanding that they did approve of this, so because, especially because of like in order to get more eyes on this show, so that way people are interested. Um, so, man, okay, that's that's something. Wow. Um, nonetheless, this would be the first acknowledgement of Anakin's alleged role in the series since the Hollywood Reporter's article nearly two years ago. As of right now, however, it's unclear how large or small Christensen's role in the series would be. Right, they're not going to say if it's going to be a major or small role. I really hope they don't reveal that it's going to be a major or small role because that's going to kind of give away a little too much. Because if it's a small role, people are just going to be like, oh, it's just a small role. Aww. Like, if it's like a big role where he's going to be in the show, we're going to see him quite a bit then I think people are still are going to be tuned in. But yeah, so I, I just hope that they don't reveal like how big or small the role is going to be because that's just going to give it away, man. Because like if it's like if it's a small role, that's going to a lot of really like make people be like, oh, it's just going to be a small role. Who knows? Eh, who knows? I may not watch it. Who knows? People may be like that. So I mean, like just who knows? Um, there are several ways that Anakin could appear in the series. The most obvious are through flashbacks of events set prior to the events of Star Wars Rebels, like I was just mentioning, uh, which depicted the last known meeting between Anakin and Ahsoka Tano. Anakin fought alongside Ahsoka throughout the Clone Wars up until their bitter end, and years later, he discovered that she was still alive after he became Darth Vader. Initially, Vader believed that he could turn his apprentice to spare her life, but resolved to kill her when she refused. Ahsoka's life was only spared thanks to the timely intervention of Ezra Bridger, using the mysterious realm known as the world between worlds, and Ahsoka has resolved to find him after his mysterious disappearance after the Battle of Lothal. Vader, in the meantime, thought, thought that he had killed her and completed his mission. Another possibility is that Anakin returns due to becoming a Force Spirit, like I also just mentioned, an ability that he somehow gained by the end of Return of the Jedi. Ahsoka meeting with Anakin after his fall and redemption would create something unique for the narrative of the series. That is very true, and it would be a very heartfelt and emotional moment between the two as well. So... If we just get one of these possible scenarios in the show, I'm perfectly okay with it. If we get both, that's even better. I definitely, definitely want to see Anakin reconnecting with her as a Force ghost. But yeah, man, if hey, if, if we don't get that and we only get a freaking... If we don't get that and we only just get... I don't know, like Ahsoka and Anakin fighting together in the Clone Wars or just talking together in some sort of flashback. I'm perfectly I'm perfectly okay with that. But so yeah, man. Um that's pretty much all I gotta say about this. Very excited for the show and very interested on in seeing how Lucasfilm and Disney and this show is going to um handle Anakin and um how big of a role he's gonna have and how many times we're gonna be seeing him. But I hope they don't reveal that before the show comes out, I want to see, as I'm watching the show, how many times we do see him in it, whether he's a Force ghost or whether it's just in flashbacks talking to Ahsoka. Like, we'll just see what happens. But uh, in the meantime, though, post comments down below, though. Uh, let me guys think about this, though. Um, are you kind of are you happy that this pretty much confirmed that Anakin will be in the Ahsoka show, or do you think that this shouldn't have been revealed, and would you have just wanted to wait and see until the show came out? I am one of those people that says, you know what, I think we should have waited until the show comes out instead of them kind of just saying, like, oh, yeah, he's going to be in it. But, again, it makes sense why they did it, because Disney really wants to get eyes on this show, because this show is being, this show has a lot of hype and a lot of potential going into it. And this show could even lead into Mando Season 4, or, hell, Mando Season 4 may not even be a show for that matter. It may even be a movie, based on what I talked about in one of my in my last Star Wars video that I made yesterday, um, which if you haven't, I'll put a link to it so, uh, here in the end screen in a little bit. But like, yeah, I mean, this could lead up to either Mando season four or 
the movie Mandalor or the Mandalorian movie if season four of the Mandalorian does get turned into a movie um, soon, get turned into a movie rather than just do season four of Mando and then after that do a movie. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see how they handle all this. It's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen after the Ahsoka show and what and how this and how that possibly leads up to Mando season four or the movie if they if Disney does decide if Disney and Lucasfilm do decide to turn Mando season four into the movie um, or if they decide to keep going and have Mando season four still be a TV show and yeah like who who knows what's going to happen but uh, yeah in the meantime though um, again do let me know about your comments I'll again just. Tell, tell me your thoughts about all this in the comments down below. Um, very interested on hearing what you guys think about this. Um, also, if you guys are a fan of uh, Star Wars, you're a fan of your Ahsoka or Anakin specifically, then you should send this video over to them because they might have gotten watching this. And also, come on over on Twitter and Vero. I will be putting the links to those in the description down below. So yeah, um, until then though, everybody, I will see you all later. And goodbye.